the quest to develop stronger electric car batteries have been dubbed the new gold rush. Many new technologies are on the way that will make it easier to purchase and run a zero-emission vehicle. The problems of range anxiety and long charging periods could soon be a thing of the past as battery packs might eventually give over 400 miles of range between charges that only take a few seconds to charge and could even power the car over the air. In today's video we will take a look at some of the groundbreaking research that is presently being conducted which could lead to an exciting new world of battery technology for tomorrow's electric vehicles. Consumers and businesses have been waiting for a better battery for decades one that charges faster and lasts longer. This has been promised by graphene a substance discovered in 2004. Many recent initiatives have been taken toward developing better batteries but none have resulted in a product that can be purchased. The graphene battery is only now becoming available to the general population. This could be the first sign of a new era in battery technology. Graphite is recognizable to anybody who has handled a pencil. But what precisely is graphene in its most basic form graphene is the thinnest form of graphite. Graphene has a hexagonal shape that is very condensed and it's just one atomic layer thick. When graphene is reduced to a single atomic level it acquires a number of intriguing features that distinguish it from graphite. First and foremost graphene is a highly efficient electrical conductor. Furthermore graphene is a very strong substance that is both flexible and lightweight. Graphene has 200 times the strength of steel while weighing only a quarter of the amount. So how is graphene used in battery technology? Highly conductive and porous graphene plates transport energy to charge or discharge the battery at a rapid pace similar to current lithium-ion batteries. The design of lithium-ion and graphene batteries is similar yet there are significant variances lithium-ion batteries and graphene batteries are both capable of powering similar devices and transferring energy in similar ways. Although lithium-ion and graphene batteries are similar in construction and use they differ significantly in terms of energy transfer speed safety features and service life. The primary reason that graphene batteries outperform regular batteries is a simple one. When energy is delivered to a device a substantial quantity of surplus heat energy is produced as a byproduct of the resistance of the device conductors. Lithium-ion batteries carry energy while having a very high resistance resulting in unusually high amounts of heat. Resistance increases when the lithium becomes unevenly heated causing a cycle of escalating inefficiency exists heat is also hazardous to the battery and the gadget itself. Although current Lion batteries are very safe and reliable catastrophic battery failures can result in a fire or explosion. Graphene is now one of the most conductive materials on the planet with exceptionally low resistance. This low amount of resistance aids in reducing surplus heat energy to a minimum ends maintaining total temperatures within a safe range. Low resistance is best for high speed high energy power transmission graphene's high electrical conductivity fast charge capabilities and long lifespan make it an ideal candidate for powering electric vehicles. It's also safer and more environmentally friendly than any other type of vehicle battery composed of entirely carbon graphene is biodegradable and resistant to damage and overheating. Its fast charge and discharge capabilities are perhaps the greatest benefit of using graphene in electric vehicles. Instead of waiting hours to charge vehicle batteries, all it takes is a few minutes to charge once fully charged EVS can travel long distances without issue. Unlike other types of vehicle batteries the graphene battery does not wear out or lose its ability to charge over time main energy's graphene battery lasts up to 60 years with unlimited charges. New graphene battery advancements have resulted in the development of a battery that outperforms any lithium-ion battery now in use. Last year Graphene Nano a Spanish battery startup announced a graphene polymer battery that might allow electric vehicles to travel up to 800 kilometers on a single charge. The battery could theoretically be charged in a matter of minutes because of its graphing architecture. The batteries can charge and discharge nearly 33 times faster than a standard lithium-ion battery. Tesla has expressed an interest in incorporating graphene batteries into future automobiles. This could be the solution to reducing the weight and size of the batteries in such vehicles which would have far-reaching progressive repercussions for the world's future of electric vehicles. According to rumors Tesla is working on an automobile graphene battery that can be fully charged five minutes faster than standard batteries. The Fisker Corporation led by Henrik Fisker and one of Tesla's main competitors was planning to use graphene battery in its new electric car the Fisker 2 Emotion at first the proposal was later abandoned in favor of lithium-ion batteries. Despite the decision to abandon graphene batteries for electric vehicles Fisker has stated that the company's research into solid-state graphene battery cells will continue for the time being if Fisker decides to employ graphene batteries in their automobiles they will most likely be the first however it is unusual for Tesla to wait on the sidelines while other businesses improve electric vehicle technology. If graphene batteries prove to be a transformational technology it is likely that Tesla will pursue their use in some manner. 
In the meantime research into graphene battery continues as does work on supercapacitors that can utilize graphene and may render traditional batteries obsolete in the near future. The supercapacitor is composed of three layers it has two layers of graphene while the middle layer is a layer of electrolytes. The supercapacitor film is very thin yet very strong and stable and it can release an impressive amount of energy in a very short time span which is necessary as electric vehicles need extra energy for quick spurts of acceleration. The graphing batteries are charged and discharged via static electricity. This is different from other types of EV batteries which charge through a chemical reaction. This difference allows graphene batteries to charge and discharge at a much faster rate and function for longer periods of time than chemical batteries. To top it all off graphene is safer than standard batteries. This is due to the fact that the cell creates far less heat and runs much cooler. Graphene is a fantastic heat and electrical conductor when you put a lot of energy in or take a lot of energy out. Lithium batteries do not perform well despite its benefit as energy storage devices and EVs. Graphene-based batteries have some limitations the most obvious drawback is a lack of mass production procedures for producing high-quality graphene batteries. Currently the cost of producing 1 kilogram of graphene ranges between tens and one thousands of dollars which is far greater than the cost of producing activated carbon which is $15 per kilogram graphene is only now being introduced and integrated into battery technology. The most difficult obstacle to overcome is the extraordinary high costs of producing tiny graphene sheets its potential applications will expand as manufacturing processes become more polished and cost effective. Graphene's most promising application is in conjunction with regular lithium ion batteries. This is accomplished by integrating graphene into the battery's cathodes and anodes. In the most basic terms the cathode is where energy exits the battery and the anode is where energy enters the cathode and anode generate the highest resistance and so heat more energy can be delivered at a faster rate and in a safer manner. By improving the conductivity and decreasing the resistance of the cathode anode materials. Tesla Motors Samsung and Microsoft have all expressed strong interest in the development of graphene batteries we should expect to see faster and faster development of new technologies as interest and financing and graphing develops. Although the use of graphene batteries in EVs is currently viable, they are not yet commercially available due to the need for additional study to establish mass production procedures and better determine the material's practical potential. Several firms have expressed interest in using graphene batteries to power electric vehicles. According to market recent analysis conducted by Global Market Insights the market for graphene batteries would grow to roughly $97 million by 2023. As graphene battery technology gets more economical and efficient it would not be shocking to see them in electric vehicles in the near future. Graph and aluminum ion batteries have the potential to become the principal EV battery in the future because they charge 60 times faster than lithium ion cells and hold substantially more energy than pure aluminum cells. Graphing aluminum ion cells for example can recharge a double eight battery in one minute and a coin cell battery in 10 seconds let's hear what you think of graphene battery in the comment section below. Thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe to this channel for more exciting content. See you in the next one.